Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon. We're going to start a very easy chapter. I think I think it's quite easy. Uh, certainly the first part is very easy. We're going to start looking at time distance graphs. So um, I'm just going to go through an example. You take notes, you go square paper, which is going to work a lot easier for you. Do that, take notes, and then we can have a relaxed rest of the lesson doing some work that I think you'll find fairly easy. Okay? Good, so let's go into the example now. Okay, guys, so here we are. These are time distance graphs, and the reason I know they are time distance graphs is because we've got time here always going on the horizontal axis and distance always going here on the vertical axis. Let's change color, do that again. Time always goes on the um, horizontal axis and distance always here on the vertical axis. Um, what, and, and the graph just represents the distance we travel from the starting point. The starting point tends to be zero. And you can see the distance that we are away from the starting point uh, at different points in time. So here's my example. They tell me that Lance walks from home to the bicycle shop. He spends uh, 20 minutes choosing a new bicycle. He then rides a home at a constant speed of 9.6 kilometers an hour. The distance time graph below shows part of the journey. Right, so, what now? Let's erase all the stuff that we don't need. All right, find the distance from Lance's home to the bicycle shop. Right, so, if uh, he cycles from home, home is zero, because that's where we start from. We start from home, and he's traveling uh, until he stops. When that is, he stops here, so he stops 10, that'll be 10 15, doesn't it? And so this is the time that he takes to uh, ride to the shop, and that's the distance covered to get to the shop. So the distance to the shop must be 800 meters. I just read it from, uh, from the vertical axis. Find the speed at which Lance walks to the shop. Well, you need to remember, speed equals distance divided by time. But we need to be careful here, because the distance is either kilometers per hour or meters per second. And you can only walk in those two uh, units. So the speed at which he walks is going to be the distance the distance is 800 meters, um, but because I want the answer in kilometers per hour, I need to change the meters to kilometers. So you must remember that 800 meters is 0 0.8 kilometers divided by the time. The time has to be in hours. So from 10 to 10, 15, that's 15 minutes. But 15, I cannot put 15 in there because it's 15 minutes and I want it in hours. Now, 15 minutes, we know it's quarter of an hour, and a quarter of an hour, a quarter is 0 0.25, okay? Or, if you've got different kind of time in minutes, to change it into hours, you just do the number of minutes, in our case, it was 15, divided by how many minutes are there in an hour, which is 60, which is where you get the 0 0.25, okay? So, if you have 20 minutes, you will do 20 divided by 60. If you have 35 minutes, you will do 35 divided by 60 to convert it into hours. So, the speed at which he walks there is 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.25, 3.2. So he's traveling, so this is 3.2. Uh, okay, let's put that here for now. So the answer to part, part B is 3.2 kilometers Per hour, remember, I need to give this this the speed in kilometers per hour. That's what they asked me to do here, so that's why I had to convert the unit. So you need to be really careful with that. What time does he arrive back home? Ooh, interesting. Um, so to answer part C, I know the distance he needs to cover back home, so I'm going to use this formula again. Speed equals distance divided by time. We know the speed is now 9.6 because they told me there 
he's cycling home now. So 9.6 is going to equal the distance, which was 0 0.8 kilometers. Remember that we're working in kilometers per hour divided by time. So to answer this question, uh, the time, which is down there, I need to rearrange the equation. So I need to multiply both sides by t. So I get, I suggest you take notes because I'm going to erase everything. So um, I get Raise up here, give myself some space up here. All right. Okay, that was an equal. So I get 9.6t equals 0 0.8. So I need to now divide by 9.6. So the time that he takes is going to be 0 0.8 divided by 9.6. And if I take my calculator, which I've got here. 0 0.8 divided by uh, no 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 0 0.8 divided by 9.6 is 0 0.0 0 0.0 0 0.0833 going on forever. Um, I need to change that into minutes, don't I? So to change that into minutes, because that's hours, that's 0 0.0833 hours, and to change that into minutes. So I am going to do um, 0 0.0833 multiplied by 60, because there's 60 minutes in one hour. So I've got my answer multiplied by 60, I got 5. 5, so he takes 5 minutes to walk back home. So if he left the shop, look at the graph. If he left the shop at here, which was 10.35, he must get home at 10.40 and complete the graph. Well, he's going to travel on a straight line down. He gets home at 10.40. I get my ruler, I get my pen. Straight line down there. That is it. Okay, that's how I answer the question. However, let me give you a couple of pointers here. Let me let me clarify something. Okay, uh, I'll do it on the board so you can see the example clearly because it is important. It's that conversion between minutes and hours. Okay. Okay, guys. So there's a couple of things I want to clarify. So I've done the example, but there's a few things you need to be really careful with, and maybe it wasn't that clear to say on the example. So first of all. Whenever you're working with speed, time, distance, that kind of thing, I think it is good to remember uh, this little formula triangle that I'm going to draw here for you. So speed is distance divided by time, okay? So the way this works you may have seen it before, you may have seen it in physics or whatever, is if I want to find the speed, because I don't know the speed, I can cover the speed up, and what I get is d over t, so that means divide uh, the distance by the time. Say I wanted to find the time that it takes me, if I cover the time, I get d over s, so that means I have to divide the speed, sorry, I need to divide the distance by the speed. And say I wanted to find the distance, if I know the speed and the time, how far have I traveled? If I cover the distance, I get S next to T, that means times. So speed times time. So that's one way to know how, whether sometimes you multiply, sometimes you divide, what you need to divide, what you need to multiply. This may help, okay? And the other crucial thing that I mentioned earlier is when you're dealing with changing hours into minutes or minutes into hours, because uh, like I said to you in this formula, the time, if you're working in kilometers per hour, the time has to be in hours. So if I've got 35 minutes and I want to change it into hours, 35 divided by 60. So 
So 35 divided by 60, sorry, I'm using my calculator to prop up the iPad. But anyway, whatever that would be, because we know that 30 minutes is half an hour, isn't it? And 30 divided by 60 is 0 0.5, which is a half. So that makes sense. And 45 minutes, we know it's three quarters of an hour, because 45 divided by 60, that's three quarters, which we know is 0 0.5. 75. So whenever you're writing minutes into hours, you will have to do this kind of conversion. Or say something takes one hour and 20 minutes, or one hour and 20 minutes, you cannot write 1.2 in the calculator. That's wrong because 20 minutes is not 0.2 of an hour. 20 minutes is actually one third of an hour. It's 0 0.333, isn't it? 20 divided by 60. 0 0.3 recurring so if your time is one hour and 20 minutes in the calculator you will have to type 1.333333 i hope that makes sense equally is the opposite if you've got the time in hours and you need to change it into minutes then you are going to simply uh, multiply by 60. Um, so say i've got uh, point six hours well how many minutes is that well here we do the reverse process we multiply by 60 so uh, 0.6 hours is the same as 0 0.6 times 60 because there's 60 minutes in one hour so that's 36 minutes sorted uh, if i've got 0.2 hours well how many minutes is that well, it's going to be 0 0.2 times 60, it is 12 minutes, okay? So these are a few examples of how to change minutes into hours and how to change hours into minutes and how to use the formula triangle, okay? So all those things with the example, I hope it makes sense. Um, take notes, write the examples nice and neat in your books, please, and let me know if you've got any problems. Excellent.